All right, now the real reason that we're having you on. Yesterday you had mm -hmm. th you ha or Saturday you had three callers. You 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 realize that you went three collars with your shirts. Uh, well, I didn't think of it until now. I yeah. was just trying to stay warm. Yep. Well, we, <laughs> I was, we, I was we noticed it. I was walking around in, uh, in the gallery. It was freezing out there. I, and when you hit that little stretch, the triangle of six, seven, and eight, I mean, it's, they may say it's 60. It felt like it was about 40. So it was just a matter of trying to stay warm. I had on a polo. I had on a half zip. Yes, the Jim Nance by Vineyard Vines Pescadero. That was the main layer. Hello, friends. Shameless plug there. <laughs> and then I had uh, then I had uh, uh, a performance vest on. Just a matter of staying warm. It still wasn't enough. Have you ever gone four collars, Jim? No, that was, you know, I've done the three. You have to out here sometime. You want to live here, Dan, and we've talked about it before. You need to spend more time here. we got to get you into the triple collar look. <laughs> did, did, did I pull it off? That's the question. Oh, yeah. It, and the last time I saw you go three collars, I think it was the AFC yeah. title game, Chiefs and the Patriots. Like you had a sweater okay. under your well, sport coat, Chiefs-Patriots? Yes, I did now that you oh, now yeah. that you mentioned it. I, I could remember. But, yeah, well, wasn't it like 15 degrees at night uh, that night at Arrowhead? Yeah. I mean, it was cold. I know that. Yeah. Paulie yeah. actually monitors this stuff. He he was so excited when, you know, I said, we got Nance on today. He goes, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I got to ask him about his three collars. I go, that's what you want to know? And Paulie goes, yeah. Wow. So Hey, think about it. Is that is that too much to wear? I mean, I could have come in with a parka. I don't know. No, no. I, I don't know if you can be too awesome, Jim. You know, so I, I think that, uh, is that. Was it awesome? Are you saying it's awesome? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you pulled it off. Now, could I do it? I, Probably not. <laughs> you know, I think when you were in uh, in Pebble back in February, and we had our annual little contest in the back, yeah. didn't you maybe have on three collars? I'm thinking maybe you did. No, no, I took the collar. I went over on the uh, part three. That was the only collar I had, Jim. I've got to check that video, Dave. <laughs> yeah. I I thought there might be. The, you know what? We're going to do. We're going to do three collar Tuesday in honor of uh, of you. When's your birthday? I just had it. I had it back in May. Yeah. Oh damn. Okay. The next time we get to but Pebble, you the key when you're going. Yeah. You know, we're doing three collar day. Yeah. Well, a tribute to you. When we do, because it's still going to be even then. You know, our weather's pretty much the same year round. Yeah. We'll have a, a three collar Friday. <laughs> we'll come up to the back and let, let McLovin defend his title back here in uh, the backyard. Where we had, by the way, three holes in one over the last two weeks as part of the Open. One, you no doubt saw, was Nicholson. Phil's yeah. uh, during, during his uh, preparation the Tuesday before, the week before the U.S. Open. And then um, on the eve of this championship, Brant and Mandy Snedeker with their children came up to the house, and, and Brant, who was the first to ever make it, he f was the first hole-in-one artist back in 2015 on the Sunday, the day that he won the AT&T, shot 65, and then he had a walk-off hole-in-one in my backyard, the first to ever make it. He became now the first to ever make it twice. Wow. Is on the eve of this tournament. He came to the house for dinner. We went on into the back. It was the first nighttime lighted hole in one <laughs> we've ever had back there. And now his name, we'll have to kind of change out his plaque. And then on Friday night, down in the dumps, disgusted after making a quadruple bogey, eight at the third hole, missing the cut. And before he takes a flight back to London to be with his family, Ian James Poulter knocked it in for nice. a hole in one. So. Someone asked me though one of the one of the players. I have a lot of players up here, given to the go, um, and one of them will go unnamed. Actually, shanked it off my garage. It said, "Has anyone ever <laughs> made a hole in one, shanking it off the house?" And I said, "Well, no, but we've come close." I said, "You know, my guy McLovin <laughs> of the <DNA." laughs> Hey, it still counts, contest. Jim. Yeah, it still counted. Hey, McLovin won. You want a contest? Yeah, he hit the he hit the house and it, it somehow bounced through the bunker and 
settled about three feet away from the cup. Yeah, and it's called a McLovin. Yes, McLovin. So Dan wants me to bring yeah, the trophy we in. Give that its own name. Yes. Dan- Dan wants me to bring the trophy in, but I'm keeping it at home and not giving it to the Hall of Fame, by the way. (laughs) For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.